Word of God, and uh, there's Sandy's picture. You've been featured in a number of uh, shows and magazines and things like that. And you're just, you've lived here how long? In, in, in Winchester? About 20 years. 20 years. So you had no intention of trying to become a celebrity by photographing Jan. No, as a matter of fact, I really didn't even want to publish. I kept it a secret for two years, and then I made them keep it in the scientific world. And I was I was forced by the media to publish mm -hmm. because they were calling, "Well, if this exists, why haven't we seen it?" And sure, right. So I was forced to, and that's why I had to. I put a copyright on so that I could have some control and some protection mm -hmm. as to who's going to use it. Right. Smart. Good move. Now. People have asked me, they say, hey, if these creatures, if there's so many of these creatures, why don't we get more pictures? And I, I ask them the question, I'll say, have you ever seen a car wreck? And I say, well, sure. I'll say, give me a picture of one as it happens. You never see a picture of a car wreck as it happens, and yet thousands of car wrecks happen. So it's when a, it's something that it's fleeting, it lasts a few seconds, you don't think of taking a picture until it's too late. And, well, maybe if you could uh, keep me posted, send me information if you get any more people, other because people probably come to you all the time, don't they? And say, yes. hey, I saw it. Yes. I would like to keep a file of that. Just send me a list. Absolutely. Picture of Chant up here on the wall, mm -hmm. and uh, you tell me about the old gentleman that came and looked at it. I was looking at the Town Room, an older gentleman came in, and he was looking at the Town Room, and he was staring at the picture, and he was staring, and he asked me what it was, and I told him it was Chant from Lake Champlain. And he went on to tell me that he had never told a soul this, and he was in his 80s, I think he said he was 89 or 87. And he told me about when he was a young man, and he went fishing with his grandfather up in Lake Champlain, up by uh, the Bulwaga Bay, um, that area, up by Tide. He grew up on the lake? Yeah, he grew up on the lake. Okay. And he told me of a time that he and his grandfather were out fishing, and this monstrous big thing, he said, came out of the water. And his grandfather told him that it was Chan, and that he wasn't to tell anybody due to the fact that he would, they would think that they were insane. Mm -hmm. And so he, all those years, he never told a soul about it. He was, I was the first person he told, and he said to me, I was not insane, my grandfather was not insane. We saw a living, breathing dinosaur. Right. And I was like, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. More and more testimony. Yes, absolutely. Now, other people other people have seen it and they come to you and say, hey, you know. Yes, and, and I, I, I appreciate that because it gives me vindication. You know? right. I'm not crazy. I'm not freak out. Yeah. This is what I saw. This is what they saw. And we all saw something. And what? Someday maybe the lake will give up her secret. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But let's not kill it. Don't kill it, no. no. Great. So well, thank you so much. You got customers here, we better let you go. See those binoculars. Huh? You see those binoculars? It was a shark. No, it was not a shark. Something just came up there. I've seen it, Dad. It's gone. It went under. I think we just see Champ. What's Champ? Like Champlain Monster. It's gone, Clayton. I shouldn't have looked at it with the binoculars so long. I should have got the camera. Oh, under the same way. It started way the heck out there. You know, that buoy, just past that buoy when that sailboat went by. I know. When I was looking at it with the binoculars, I thought it was just a log. It, uh, it ran over, but it went right from that buoy 
All, all the way inland, went underneath right in there. This is a giant squid of the species Archituthus ducks. It came ashore on November the 22nd, 1979 in St. Brendan's on Collier's Island in Bonavista Bay, Newfoundland. It's an immature female. It is a small female, but it is a giant squid. I believe the giant squid reach an approximate maximum size of something like 150 feet. If this is 20 feet long, uh, well then, um, it's uh, almost uh, eight times longer than this in overall length, and that's a big squid. In 1976, just 30 miles off the Lizard in Cornwall, two fishermen, George Vinnikin and John Cox, also met a monster. Well, it went steaming 30 miles off, 25 to 30 miles off. So what I thought was an upturned boat on the, on the horizon. So we went over to investigate. When we got closer, we could see it wasn't an upturned boat. It was something that, well, neither of us have seen before. So it was dark in color, and had sort of humps on the back. I should say it was, well, between 15 and 18 feet in length, and rising above the sea about three feet. It was a flat, calm day. There was no disturbance in, on the sea at all. When we got up closer, went a little closer, I came astern, to our amazement, up out the water about three feet from this body, head, arrived, head appeared out the water. And it was a, well, thing I've never seen before after about 40 years of sea. And it gradually sank in the water and disappeared. But after talking about it, the only thing we could explain it was, a, was one of, very much like a prehistoric animal. Welcome to Ovi's Open Line program. I do believe that's what's going on in here this morning. Teresa, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. We're talking about the Ogopogo uh, today. A lot of people in the, the area have seen it. The legend goes on for many years, and we'll be talking to some experts. I believe we've got Arlene Gall coming in. Arlene wrote a book on it. That's right. But we're going to go to the phone lines right now. Line two, good morning. Hello there. Mr. Puglis. Yes, go yes, ahead, sir. Yes. Yeah, you want to know about Ogopogo? I certainly do. Yeah. Okay. I had a taxi and uh, I took a passenger to the hospital and uh, and then the, I was coming down uh, Abbott Street. And I got far as uh, about here. I looked at the lake. I was surprised. I seen this thing come out of the water. Well, it's like a, like a horse's head with the kind of horns on it. Well, he was huge, you know, standing up there, oh my, just like a, you know, like a big serpent. Then another fellow come behind me and he says, what are you looking at? He says, I should see no Gopogo over there. And uh, he says, where, where? Over there, he says. I, I had the door open the car and uh, stepped out just a little bit and uh, he slipped back in the water, see? And he says, gee, look at the big, uh, big waves there. And all we can see is uh, big waves going down there to Fred's place where he had the boat, boat rental. And they disappeared, see?